Hello everybody, my name is Adriano and welcome to the High Performance Mum channel. I'm here to talk about something a little bit challenging, a little bit confronting to hear. Here to talk about why obese people struggle to lose weight. I've got my undergraduate's degree in psychology. I spent a lot of time studying eating disorders, mental disorders, all that sort of stuff. So I know I'm in a, a place to be able to speak from authority and education on it. I'm not the most educated, I never claim to be, but I have a very, very sound understanding. And so I wanted to talk about why people struggle to lose weight when they're obese. And there's only one reason, and the reason is purely based on their psychology. Because let me tell you, if you're 140 kilograms, all you need to do is breathe out and you'll lose two, two kilograms. I've been a big human before, and it is very easy to lose four or five kilos in a week just by being semi-structured with your food. I've even got videos on my YouTube channel for called the Messina Challenge where I ate ice cream every day for 21 days and lost six kilos. It can be done. <laughs> so I wanted to talk about the psychological underpinnings because it's pretty much addiction to food. Now, I don't know if anybody of you out there have any experience with family members that are alcoholics, drug addicts, I'm very intimately, I've got a lot of personal experience with that, but also uh, familial experience around that. And if you try and tell somebody they have a drug problem or a drinking problem, guess what happens? Denial. In this, you have relapse and a bunch of other things. So we say we've got our addiction to food. Well, most people probably are in denial about their weight how serious their health consequences are, they probably feel out of control about taking any behavior towards it because they don't know how to eat sustainably, they haven't been taught or they didn't really give a f enough to learn, all sorts of stuff. So most people sit in this little des denial phase. Now, they might take some action, but because food is delicious and because of their psychology for chasing dopamine highs through food, it's very easy to relapse. Food's everywhere, McDonald's, and it's cheap. And also you can be like, well, I was hungry. If you're a cocaine head and you're like, well, I just, I wanted a sniffle, doesn't have the same socially acceptable nature as being hungry. Cocaine's not a need, right? Where food is a need. So you can mask it as something else where you are speaking to family and friends. So it's very, very important to understand that it's very easy to relapse if you're someone that's obese. Right? This is the, where it gets tricky is taking action needs to be about habits and lifestyle change. Because if you're not changing your habits and you're not changing your lifestyle, nothing's gonna happen. If you're an alcoholic, if for example, when you're trying to stop drinking, going to the pub, habits and lifestyle change, is not gonna help you with you drinking less. If you really want change, you'll stop going to the pub and you'll probably start filling your time with more meaningful things that aren't based around drinking. What they need to do is change their habits, change their lifestyle. So this means probably instead of when they feel like stressed and they want to eat, going for a walk instead. It sounds very boring because it is. Reading, watching TV, even that can be triggering for some people, right? You want your snacks, that sort of stuff. So walking, reading and watching TV can be great outlets. Could go to the gym, God forbid, all sorts of stuff. Okay, so it's just really important to understand that these are some of the switches that you can make if you want to go from obese to healthy because it's completely holistic. It starts with your psychology and ends in here, but this is the only reason why you can't lose weight as an obese person or you struggle. It's because psychologically you're going through some stuff. You've built in this system that chases dopamine through food. Anytime you're stressed, you seek food. Anytime you're happy, you probably seek food. <laughs> Anytime you're bored, discomfort with sitting with yourself, you, you want food, all sorts of stuff. I've been there many a time before. Okay, so this is pretty much an in-depth understanding as to why you can't get there. But if you do want change and you're someone that does want to change their weight, whether you're someone that wants to be a mum and you're obese and you're struggling with fertility, which is a real thing, probably <laughs> switching to this drastically will help you so much. I've helped lots of ladies fall pregnant just through weight loss. It's very, very doable. And this is pretty much where you can start walking, reading, watching, going, watching TV, going to the gym, doing things that aren't based around food that facilitate you being obese, walking. I guarantee you if you're obese and you just start walking and go to the gym maybe like three times a week versus nothing, you'll start to see drops on the scale. Your body doesn't want to be that heavy. It's your psychology that's really gotten a bit out of control there. So anyway, these are the reasons why you can't lose weight if you're obese or you struggle to lose weight when you're obese. I hope this video has helped. If it has, please leave a comment down below and remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel. 
team, if you like that video, be sure to click here for your next video or here for something that you may like, all that sort of stuff. And make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell to make sure you get all our videos. We make at least one video daily on a different topic. See you on the next one.